Mother, I have wonderful news for you. You know that summer cottage we wanted to rent? Well, I have figured out a way how we can afford it. You'll never guess what I've done. I've taken in a boarder. A boarder, Mother? <laughs> That's right. Oh, of course, I didn't tell Charles about it. I knew if I told him in advance, he'd never allow it. But now that it's done, there's nothing he can do about it. <laughs> it's not... Wait a minute. I smell the carrots burning. I'd better run. I'll call you back, dear. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Oh, yes, quite. I really am. I... Oh, the carrots. Will you excuse me, please? Of course, of course. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> you must be, uh, Mr. Hickenlooper? Oh. Well, I am Ellsworth Bigsby. Who? Ellsworth Bigsby. <laughs> the Mrs. Hickenlooper, I think, is out in the kitchen preparing dinner. <laughs> Should be ready very soon. <laughs> Wouldn't you, uh, care to sit down? Thank you. It's very kind of you. Just draw up a chair. It's very nice of you. <laughs> you sure you're comfortable? Oh, yes. Good. 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 Would you uh, care to look at some of the paper? Yes, I'd like to. This is a very nice section here. I think you'd enjoy that. Thank you. Huh? <laughs> well, smells like dinner's gonna be ready any minute. I, I think I'll go freshen up a bit. <laughs> uh. Well, see you at dinner. I'm gonna see you at dinner? <laughs> I expect so.
Jun. I come in. I didn't tell you that again. Do you mind if I get? I tell you the I don't know. I don't know. Doris? Throw him out of the house. <laughs> for you, so you have a place to go to this summer and you don't have to stay in the hut. I want my privacy. Throw him out of the house. Oh, the guy I knew my best. Throw him out of the house. You want to throw him out of the house? You don't have to throw him out of the house. I'll throw him out of the house. Oh, be sensible. It's just for a little while until we have enough money. Enough money for what, dear? For what? For the cottage. But we're saving up now for the, for the cottage for next summer. I want it this summer. Besides, that it won't be any trouble, and that extra room was only going to waste anyhow. What do you mean it was going to waste? What about my hobby? Oh, that was, uh, that was a nice dark room in there. Dark room? Where did you take up photography? Talking about photography. It's a nice dark room and sleeping is my hobby. <laughs> oh, look, Doris, after all, I mean... No, I mean, you're taking a guy, you don't know who he is, what he is, where he comes from, who he knows, what is... I, <laughs> I happen to know all about him. He's a very respectable little man. He's, he's a chemical engineer. And besides that, he was recommended to me personally by Bertha Gray. Who's Bertha Gray? A woman I met on the bus this morning. <laughs> on the uptown bus or the downtown bus? I went to school with her. Please give it a try, darling, will you? Please, just for me. I'll go bring in dinner. I got a friend for $16 a week. <laughs> Somebody to live with. <laughs> Sixteen dollars a week. I'm gonna live with him. <laughs> I don't get it. Sometimes. It's <laughs> <laughs> a nice puck that you got there. very much. Thank you. I, I always try to get in a little practicing every night before dinner. Every night? And before breakfast. Every <laughs> dinner is served. 
Shall we sit down? <laughs> I usually sit here, but you can sit here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. If any likes or dislikes, you just let me know. Oh, yes. I... Why don't you just sit down? Huh? So then I can just sit like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. I'm so used to just having two chairs at the table. I forgot. Here we are. Now, if we just bend our knees, I think we'll all make it. <laughs> Care for some leftovers there? Potatoes, I see you're not on a diet. Oh, I like potatoes very much. Very, very cheap. Where does it all go? I don't know. I think you missed a little over there. Like the potatoes off the spoon? <laughs> Nearer the spoon, the sweeter the potato. Now, uh, he's paying $16 a week, right? <laughs> he is about 98 cents a pound. Let's see, uh, he's got about $17 on his plate right now. <laughs> I think he lost the dollars of this meal right now, dear. I might as well answer it. I've got nothing to do anyway. <laughs> Hello. What? No, there's no zingle here, I know. Who? Yes. Just a moment, he just moved in today. <laughs> yeah. For you. Thank you very much. Hello? Oh, hello, Arnold. How are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm fine, just fine. <laughs> well, no, I'm not really settled yet. No. The room, well, it's a little small. And the furniture's rather shabby, but uh, they are nice people, yes. Mm -hmm. hmm? No, the trunks arrive tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, the dog doesn't get here until Saturday. <laughs> well, certainly nice talking to you, Arnold. Oh, by the way, you, you must come and visit me, eh? And when you do, be, be sure and bring your clarinet. We'll play some duets together. Nice talking to you, Arnold. Bye-bye. Arnold's coming Saturday <laughs> with the clarinet. <laughs> That'll be fun. Uh, I hate to disturb your rhythm. <laughs> but uh, what kind of a dog do you have? Bloodhound. <laughs> oh, but he's very affectionate. You like him very much. Well, folks, I, I think I must go along and retire. It's past my bedtime. Did you have some coffee? Oh, no, thank you. I, I never take coffee. It's too stimulating. Keeps me awake at night, you know. But I will take this along for a snack later on tonight. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> how was it at the office today, dear? What do you mean, how was it at the office today, dear? How was it here today, dear? Look at this. I come home to this. Who needs this? Please. I don't care who please. What? Let's say.
He's kidding, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> well, you want it, huh? 